Hey gang, Spade of the Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at the Japanese release of the Robot Masters line for Star Saber. Now, I'm up here in my kitchen today because for the first time it is below freezing outside, and well, where I record my reviews is in the basement, and it is freaking cold down there. So uh, I decided to come up to the kitchen. And as I said, today we are taking a look at Star Saber from the Robot Masters line. Now this uh, figure is uh, kind of between a deluxe and a basic class figure, and this is the combined jet mode for uh, Star Saber. Now I have to admit the accuracy of this uh, sub uh, $20 toy is actually really good. However, um, the guns here on the front one, as you can clearly see, has already broken off, and the other one looks like it's about to snap at any point. Uh, they're just very soft rubber. But otherwise, uh, the mode is very good, if not a little bit flimsy. Uh, it just moves a lot. But thankfully, uh, it does move because, well, then we wouldn't really have much of a much posability for the figure. Uh, it does have its own little uh, jet mode, just like the full-size figure does. Uh, and his name is Saber. And his transformation is exactly the same as in the show. So we'll pop the uh, that bit off. His legs are right there. And here we go. This uh, little dude is pretty cool uh, for a Brain Master. Now, the Brain Master function does not work in this toy. It'd just be too complicated to get something of this size to do that. But it... It works, it looks cool, and I really dig it. So, uh, let's go ahead and turn the turnstile off and take a look at the at the star part of the figure. Now, the transformation for this is very, very simple, and it's almost exactly the same as it is in the show. Just uh, pull that off, unpeg these, and fold the legs down. So we have the chassis bit. Uh, unfortunately, you can't fold the arms up. There's nowhere to fold the arms up, and I don't understand. It looks like there's supposed to be some articulation there, but just because of the plastic, you can't move them. And then we'll flip the feet out like that. And take this little guy right here, fold his legs up thusly, and drop him into place. Now you can fold out the wings uh, if you want, and fold up the head. And here we have Star Saber. And here we have Star Saber in robot mode. Uh, as you can see, the cockpit does form the hilt of the sword. Unfortunately, I no longer have the sword. Why? Because the sword melted. I'm not joking. Uh, the plastic of the sword was so flimsy that it actually melted. I had this figure, uh, this figure, and uh, the uh, Victory Leo figure sitting next to a uh, a lamp in uh, in my room back in back in college when I originally got this guy, and it got too close to the lamp apparently, and the thing actually melted. It dripped apart and fell in half. I. I I don't know why it did that, but okay. Posability wise, uh, this little guy's pretty darn good. He's got, uh, unfortunately, no head posability. Arm, uh, shoulder is on a ball joint, then we've got a 90 degree, almost 90 degree bend there. Unfortunately, the wrists do not turn. Uh, the torso does move. There is a ball joint in the hip, but there, there's no movement in the, uh, on the side skirts here. And no bending on the on the uh, on the uh, knees either, but you could get some somewhat dynamic poses. Uh, I really wish I had the sword still, but unfortunately, like I said, that sucker melted. Uh, it would have been stored uh, right here in uh, vehicle mode, and that's really a shame because uh, with the sword, it was a complete package and was good enough. You know, it wasn't perfect, but it was. This thing is good enough. I'm never probably never going to get a hold of a Star Saber myself, uh, an original G1. So this guy was close enough and was perfect enough for my taste. If you could find this one online, I would strongly recommend picking it up, especially if you could get uh, Victory Leo with it. Uh, 
this is a great little figure. Uh, just keep the uh, very crappy, plasticky, rubbery uh, sword away from anything warm.